Hey guys, welcome back to Pi Monk Basics. So in this video, we're gonna continue from the previous video about how to bounce a ball, but we're actually gonna use an image. And I think we're gonna do a bouncing basketball. So here's where we were. We had the red ball bounce against a inclined surface and it bounced off the screen. And first thing we're gonna do here is I'm gonna actually make everything a little bigger so we can see it better. Uh, the thing I need to make bigger is gonna be the radius of the ball, which I use here in Pi Monk Circle. Uh, as well as when I draw it with a Pi game it, within the uh, a game loop. So instead of having to change it twice, I'm going to go ahead and make a variable called ball radius equals, uh, let's, let's keep it a 10 for now, and just redefine this stuff as ball radius. And so now I only have to change it in one place. And I do recommend doing that for a lot of the things that we do here. Uh, the reason I don't is just to keep some of these tutorials simple and the script's pretty simple to follow. But I do recommend uh, having a lot of this stuff as variables and separate from the rest of the script so you can quickly change the sizing of all your objects. So I'll go ahead and run this. And nothing changed because I haven't changed anything yet. So if I run a radius of like 30, let's run this and let's see what happens. And we have a bigger ball that bounces. So now let's go ahead and add a image to that ball. So I, in my same directory, have an image called basketball. I've set up this image as a PNG with transparent uh, corners. So that way, when I display this image onto this Pi game screen, it's going to come up as a circle, which is what we want. So how to do this exactly, the details are going to go into, uh, that I've gone into in the Pi game basics displaying an image video. Pi game basics displaying an image video. And in that video, I talk about how to display an image on the Pi game screen, uh, how to set up the image, how to uh, um, manipulate in Pi game. So go ahead and definitely check out that video. And let's go ahead and bring that in. So the first thing we do, and again, the details here are in Pi game basics, displaying an image, is I'm going to call it image equals Pi game dot image. It's definitely not how you spell it, Pi game dot image dot load. And since it's in the same directory, directory, excuse me, I can call it basketball. And now to display it on the screen, what's called blit it to the display within my game loop. So I'm going to do that over here. So we'll say display dot blit that image and its position. So what do you think its position should be? Maybe the position of the circle. So we'll go integer and int x. And again, it's kind of annoying to have to go into x, int y every time. So maybe I should have had that happen within the convert coordinates function, but that's okay. And y. So let's go ahead and run this and see where we're at. And okay, so clearly that image is a little too big. <laughs> so as we saw in the Pi Game Basics displaying an image video, we can rescale this image by going image equals pi game dot transform dot scale. We give it the image and we give it the size we want. So right now our size is ball radius. That's going to be the circle. But all our images are squares. So if this radius is 30, then the one side of the square is going to be 60 and so on. So we're going to have this be doubled. And so I'll go 60 or sorry, actually, I could just do ball radius times two and ball radius times two. So this will give the image to be a rectangle that's 60 pixels by 60 pixels. So let's go ahead and run this and see where we're at. So as you can see, it's a little bit off from the ball. So I wonder why that's the case. Why do you guys think that's the case? Well, that's because the image is rectangular and it blitz at the top left of that rectangular image and uh, right now we gave the center of the ball as that top left so we actually need what would be the top left of the ball if it was a rectangle so we're gonna have to back it up one ball radius both in the x direction and the y direction so we'll do that here so minus ball radius and you really are starting to see why it's so useful to put some of these in variables because if you had a long script, you would definitely forget what the ball radius was and you have to get it right every time. And every time you change it, you have to change it in five, six different places. 
it's just not worth it. So let's go ahead and run this now. That's perfect. And we also don't have to have this Pi Game Circle drawn anymore. I like to kind of keep it in the script. So I like to just comment it out because if I'm testing things, and sometimes it's nice to know where it is, but uh, we don't have to have this drawn. So I'm going to, again, go ahead and run this because the image is superimposed over it. 